Hello, people. This is Blake, episode 47. You're very welcome. I don't know if I'm going to post 28 today, so don't ask me. All right? All right, let's get into this shit. FYI, I really don't like Blake anymore. It's getting fucking boring. Hey, it's me. Hey, sweetheart. Can Oh, wait, we just came home. Can I come see you? I'm at home right now, but you can come. I'll join you in a little while. You have a key out anyway. Okay, I'll be there. See you later. See you. I should change before leaving. Girl, for what? Get the fuck out of here. Girl, you're hot to trash. Girl, but like, like this used to be my favorite outfit when you was a battered woman child. Uh, Blake is trying to be a thought, y'all. Oh, shit. God damn. Let's go back to the favorite outfit. Covered up the motion. Damn. Damn. Agatha and Brooke and Richard. Would you mind driving me to Liam's place, please? Agatha, you know what? Can he pick you up? Agatha. Of course, let's go. Thank you. Agatha, never mind, bitch, I walk. <laughs> fuck wrong with you? Who's there? Just me, Blake. What the fuck wrong with you? I'm sorry, I didn't want to scare you. I thought no one was here. It's okay, don't worry. Um, how was vacation? Eh, great. It's great, but I miss Liam. What about you? How are you? Same. Still the same, you know. I work every day. Aren't you tired? Can't you take a little break? No, I can't, but it's, it's still a big deal. I'm used to it. And Christmas isn't the same since my husband died. Oh, Liam has changed so much. I'm not stupid. I know he's engaged in illegal activities. I wish he would stop. But I know he won't, so I guess I'll work, I'll work all my life. I need to pay our debts. I don't understand why he doesn't want to live a normal life. I mean, he has you now. Why doesn't he want to make things right? And how can you stand it? You're mistaken. I can assure you that he wants to live a normal life more than anything. But it's not so easy. He must fix some things before he's, before starting a new life. He's doing his best right now, trust me. How can you be so sure about that? Because I trust him. I know he's a good guy. He wouldn't lie to me. I guess I failed. I'm not a good mother. I have no purpose anymore. What the fuck? Girl, what the fuck are you talking about, girl? Don't say that. It's not true. You're a loving mother. You did everything for your son. Even for me. You welcomed me here. Even if you didn't really know me. Even if you couldn't afford it. You always, wait, I'll always be thankful to you. Mm -hmm. You're a good mother, there's no doubt. And Liam just made the wrong choices when he was younger and he realizes it now. He loves you, he wants to change, and I'm sure it's not only for me. Trust me, soon it'll be over. Your son will start a new life. He'll find his way, I'm sure of it. Thank you so much, Blake. You've changed him. I hope you're right. I hope everything will change soon. Hey. Mm, I have to go. What's going on? Nothing. Any goddamn business. I missed you, you know. I missed you too. What the fuck is you smoking a fucking cigarette for? It's just, there's something you need to know. What is it? Joanne's back. What? How is she? She pretends to be fine, but I'm sure she's not. She acts like a strong girl, but I know that deep down she's hurt. I guess she still doesn't want to talk to me. No, she... Wait a minute, bitch. Okay, fuck that. I tried to convince her, but she doesn't want to hear anything. 
be angry. I don't understand. She was okay with our relationship, and now she acts like I'm the biggest bitch. I didn't steal you. You were not. You were not together. I know, and that's what I told her. But she doesn't want to hear anything. I think she needs time. She's not in her right mind. You know, fuck the both of y'all. How about that? Like, get your shit and get the hell on. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're together and that's the only important thing to me. Please don't stay alone with her. I don't know what she's capable of. Uh, now that she hates me. Girl, I'm sure she doesn't hate you, but don't worry. I'll never do anything to hurt you. You know that. Girl, get the f- <sighs> Yeah, but Joanne is prettier than me and I'm... <laughs> I'm sure she could be very persuasive. She may be beautiful, but I don't look at her the way I look at you. You should know that now. I know, but I'm sure she hasn't. I mean, hasn't. She wasn't as shy as I am with you. You know what I mean. I don't care about that. Girl, oh my God. Oh my fucking God. This shit is irritating the fuck out of me, y'all, oh, man. I don't want to do this Blake shit anymore. This shit is irritating as fuck. God damn. I love you. It takes all the. It makes all the difference. Trust me. Goodness fucking gracious. Though I never imagined I could like that. I, wait, I could think like that, but when you love the person, it makes everything better. At the time, I don't. I didn't know that, but now it's only you, Blake. <sighs> when is this shit gonna be over? Fucking few days later. How many fucking episodes of Blake is it really gonna fucking be? Fucking New Year's Eve. Fuck is she? Is that that girl? Oh, thank you for uh, lending me these clothes, Tom. You're welcome. Where's Liam? Oh, that's Blake. Who the fuck am I talking about? Who is she? You should come in a few minutes. She looked so fucking forward to me. I'm like, who is this a girl with the blonde hair? Tom, uh, can I know why Daniel's here? He asked me to come. Noah's not here. I guess he didn't want to stay alone. I thought he was friends with Tyler and Stevie stinking ass. Hey. Ugh. They can throw their own party. Don't be like that. I don't like them. He's a bully and just like the others. Actually, he's the only one who didn't bully me. I mean, he's with them all the time, but he never told me anything mean. It doesn't mean he's a good person. Please, let's just enjoy the party. We don't care about him. Blake is right. We have some good music and a lot of alcohol. That's all we need to have fun. Change, thank you. Hey, love, where are you? We're waiting for you. Yeah, about that. I can't come right now. What be you promised? I know, but Joanne needs me. I'll be there a little later. Bitch, hold on. Turn up on his ass. I don't care if she needs you. I'm not. Wait. Am I not more important than her? Right? Get the. F of course you are, but she needs me. I can't leave her alone right now. I promise I'll be there in a few hours. You know what? Stay with her. I don't care. I'm sick of this. <laughs> What's going on? It doesn't matter. I need another drink. Meanwhile. Fuck you, Liam, and your stinking ass. Turn are you fucking kidding me? You better throw away those fucking pills. Fuck Joanne. This is not your problem. Fuck Joanne. Fuck Lee. Oh my god. This shit needs to. God damn it. Fine, I'm gonna do it myself. Don't you dare do this. Don't you dare. Please. Too late. 
Why do you do this? Why? Because I care about you. And I won't let you ruin your life. My life is already ruined anyway. That's not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. You don't want me to have no friends. Like, you don't want me and I have no friends, no family. I have no one. Girl, you got Blake's faulty ass. Taking those drugs won't help you. It'll make everything worse and you know that. I ruined everything. I lost you. I lost Blake. I'm a terrible person. The only one who understood me was Vince and now he's dead. That's not true. Vince only used you for sex and you know that. Just like you. Well, who gives a fuck? Just like every man I suck with. They only wanted me for sex. No one would ever want to love me. That's not true. You're amazing, Joanne. You're beautiful and smart. So many guys dream to have a girl like you. Trust me, you're a beautiful, you're a wonderful girl. Get, get the joy and get your ass up off me, bitch. What the fuck do you think you're doing? I thought you were funny. I would never cheat on Blake, you know that. Then why telling me? Why telling me? Okay. Then why are you telling me all of these things? Because I wanted to help you, but you know what? I'm done with you. I should be with Blake right now instead of wasting my time here. Liam, please. I ruined everything. How is she? She's sleeping. It's weird. Maybe she's sick. Or maybe she's knocked the fuck up. Hey. Hey, Lily. I'm sorry I couldn't come earlier. Yeah, we know about, we know that Blake was pretty upset. I know. Speaking of Blake, where is she? I don't see her. She wasn't feeling well all of a sudden. She was sleeping in Tom's bedroom. Why? Did she drink too much? No, actually, she only had two drinks, but then she started to throw up. <sighs> Can you show me where she is? Of course. Bitch! What? You with a night creeper, bitch? Okay, let's see. Time for you to meet the boss. I knew it was yours. Thank you, last uh, It's here. Thank you for taking me, taking care of her. Damn it. Get, get the fuck out of there, Daniel. But nobody called him, huh? Okay, girl. Sweetheart, wake up. You're here with your stinking ass. I've heard that you were not feeling very well. Do you want to go home? Yes, please. Fine, let's go. I don't want to go home with you, Liam. I spent the night at Liam's house. Apparently. I was feeling so sick. Do you want me to drive you to the hospital? No, it's okay. It's weird. Tom said you only had two drinks. Do you think someone could have put something in your drink? No, it's impossible. Tom gave me those drinks, and who could have done this anyway? They're the only our friends. I don't know. Jean, for example. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jean is a sweetheart. Jean's a fucking murderous man, honey. I'm sick. That's all. There's. I'm sick. There's all. That's all there's to tell. I think that's what you're saying. Shit. Come next to me, please. Come next to me. The. F can you flip so please, Ian, girl? I stayed for a few days at Liam's and I was still sick, girl. You pregnant as fuck, girl. But this time I didn't have a fever. I didn't feel uh, the usual. And I was late. Uh huh. At first I thought it was because I was stressed about my future about Liam. But then you realize, but after a few days, I decided to buy a pregnancy test just to be sure. Two minutes were endless. My heart was racing. My hands were sweaty. Because you're not. Then results appeared. And she is knocked up pregnant. The test said I was pregnant. I couldn't believe it. What was I going to do? How, how Liam was going to react. How was Liam going to react? And Agatha... And who? Oh, and Lucy. I'm like, who the hell is Talochi? Oh, I used to call Lucy Talochi, y'all. I'm 
going back to calling her Tanucci. I love it. Um, I was terrified. I had so much in my mind. It reminded me of so many, of so many bad memories. First of all, I feel like this should have ended after they said something about Tanucci. But what the fuck ever, I ain't the writer or nothing. Who the hell am I? The first time I got pregnant, whoop, John, my suicide attempt. Girl, you about to try to kill yourself, kid? I needed to think. I needed to clear my head. So I left the house and I ran. Mm-hmm. And you about to get your stupid ass kidnapped. Glad to see you, too. I collapsed on my bed, started crying. All the tears I had, I stayed there for days. And Liam checked on you zero times, huh? Honey, what's going on? Is it Liam? I didn't answer. I didn't want to tell her she would be so mad at me. Fuck Agatha. Who the fuck is she, bitch? Agatha been disappeared for fucking years upon years, bitch. Agatha could kiss your ass, girl. Liam tried to call me, but I didn't answer either. I just texted him telling him that I was resting and that he didn't have to worry about me. Truth is, I didn't even know why I was crying. I didn't know if it was because of this baby or if it was because of me. <sighs> Until that night. I decided to leave our apartment. I knew I wasn't supposed to go out alone, but I didn't care. I need to find the answers to my questions. And for that, I need to go somewhere. I need to go where, where everything had started. Back to your house, girl. You own it, bitch. The manor. As soon as I got in, all the memories hit me. All the things my mother did to me. All the things that I lived during all those years. The manor was empty and I could smell the dust, but nothing had changed. This place was terrible to me. And all of a sudden I realized what was wrong. I was scared not of being a good mother. I wanted this baby, but I was scared to be just like my mother. To be a monster. I never knew maternal love, but still I had so much love to give. It was the love of my life. My life's baby. And I already loved it. As much as I loved Liam. Suddenly everything was clear. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be my mother. <laughs> I wanted to give my child what I never had. I wanted to face my fear and, gr and give this baby all the love that I had inside of me. Yep, now your ass about to get kidnapped. Because you all on these streets by your goddamn self. Is this the end? Come on. Fucking damn shit. <sighs> I need to see Blake. She's not here. She left the apartment earlier. Where did she go? Who was she with? She was alone. She ran away. I don't know where. We can help you looking for her. What? No thanks. Where the hell are you? Don't move. I'm coming. the hell is she doing there? How's he going to react? He almost killed Allie when he thought she was pregnant. Uh, he wanted her to get an abortion. What if he doesn't want this baby? I definitely don't want to get rid of this baby. What if I have to choose between him and my child? What happened? Why you come here? I needed to think. Do you really think it, it's good for you to come here? <laughs> After everything you lived here, Liam, please listen to me. And how come? And how do you come? I thought I told you not to go out alone. Do you think I'm joking when I say it's dangerous for you to be out alone, Liam? Pablo's men could have followed you. They could have kidnapped you. 
And do you think it's funny to play with your life? I thought you were sick. Why do you lie to me? <laughs> what did you do to these last days? You left my house without even telling me and then you didn't answer my calls. What? Oh my God, bitch. Just shut the fuck up. God damn. Please don't yell at me. What's wrong with you these days? I was sick, but but what? I was worried sick when I heard you left your house alone. I know that there's something I have to tell you. What is it? I'm listening. I was so scared to tell him the truth. I could see he was already really angry. Get straight to the point, please. <laughs> Easy to say. I... Say it, fucking Blake. God fucking damn, I'm pregnant. What? Alrighty. Thank God for Jesus. This is the end of this. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alrighty, people. Um, I'll upload... Probably in a couple more hours. Give me a couple hours. Give me a couple hours to think about it. Nah.